everybody. Come on, let's twist again. Did you miss me? I'm back, Peter. So, it's been three months since the final of Eurovision. And I've decided to finally make the last vlog. Because as you know, I've been posting daily vlogs when I had po- I forgot how to speak English. I had posted. I had been posting. I had... had... <laughs> I have no idea how to say this. I posted daily vlogs when I was in Eurovision. I was posting daily vlogs when I was in Eurovision. I was... God. I was posting daily vlogs. So, once again. As you know, when I was in Eurovision I was posting daily vlogs. And I haven't had the chance to post the last one because I didn't know how to end it. Because it was such a big thing and so many things were happening and I didn't even know how to end it and how to say thank you and I still don't know how but I'm here trying okay I'm trying so first of all we've all been suffering from PED which is post revision depression which is kind of sad because of you I never stay too far from the after that passes you start feeling annoyed by everyone who asks you about Eurovision. Aren't you the girl who represented Romania in Eurovision? No! Something else that happens after Eurovision is uh, people start asking you the same questions over and over again. Like, the only thing they ask you is So, how was Eurovision? Is Eurovision for real? What was your favorite country? How's your life after Eurovision? How's Eurovision? Were you nervous in Eurovision? Did you like Eurovision? Would you like to go to Eurovision again? What's Eurovision? When were you in Eurovision? Did you win Eurovision? How's Eurovision? How's Eurovision? How's Eurovision? How's Eurovision? How's Eurovision? How's Eurovision? Eurovision. Ah! Are you in a relationship with Alex? No. I'm single. Single and ready to mingle. Eurovision is, is such a nice experience, but it, it can be so hard and so difficult on the brain. Like after you, you've been there, Contestant in Eurovision. 
and I'm so thankful to have had so many great fans that were uh, with me on this amazing journey. And um, you never show this part that makes you glow. You always run away. You always say no to the right things. Don't try to hide the light inside of you. The day might be the day when you make it, baby. So bring it on, bring it on. If you never try, you never be alive. You are gonna miss out on this ride. Come on, play. <laughs> I can't be serious for so long. It's so weird. Something else that happens after Eurovision is that you keep getting so many messages every day from fans all around the world. And let me uh, read some of them for you. Hi, I have a crush on you. I really love you. Aww. Look, this is a new one. It says, F you stupid whore. I hate your singing. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk. And um, thank you for all of your comments and uh, all of the things you posted about me and about Yodelay. And just thank you for being there because um, all of this Eurovision experience wouldn't have been anything without you. And without all of the friends that I've made all around the world. and all of the people that I've met and everything I've gotten from you. So guys, um, this was the last Eurovision vlog that I've done and I will ever do because I don't know if I'll be competing again sometime, some, I don't know, maybe in the future but for sure not in the next three years because I need a break to recover. to take it on. So I will be vlogging from now on and singing and uh, uploading music for you guys and doing everything I can to fulfill my dreams. Thank you for being with me until now and I hope you will still be with me from now on because I have so much more to show. I'm not just Eurovision, there's so much more to me that I want you to know and I hope you will still be here. Thank you so much for being here until now and uh, I'll see you in my next vlog. Feel good spinner!